Hey fairies and welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be back and your girl is ready to get back into these videos. But while I was gone, thank y'all so much for 500k, man. It felt like it was never gonna happen, but it's finally here. I'm back with a hair color video, you guys' fave, I know. And I'm taking it to the next level with this one because I'm going to be matching my hair color with my nail designs and hand painting on my wig. Just like every tutorial lately, I do have a fairy of content with timestamps for those that just want to jump around to specific parts. I'm also inserting a nail vlog at the end of the video for some nail inspo to take to your nail text and just giving y'all a straight vibe. But before all that, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video and turn on the notification bell so that you guys never miss a new upload. So let's get into to it. Here are the materials I use to make my 5x5 raw Indian blonde closure wig. I have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I make a closure wig already on my channel so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. And the hair used today is from Chambray Hair. Of course they are a black owned company so make sure you guys go and support. Once the wig is made it's time to apply the hair colors and the hair dye I'm using today is from three different hair dyeing companies. I will make sure to put all of the info in the description box down below. But if you guys have time and are choosing not to be lazy like myself to get a more pastel color, you can tone the hair with the toner to get like a more white blonde hair color first. But honestly y'all, making this video took me three weeks to do. So I was just like, listen, I'm trying to just get started. To make this wig, I use five different color bases. I wanted to challenge myself and blend together colors that just shouldn't and wouldn't blend together normally. Like purple and orange, green and pink, purple and blue. These colors just don't blend together regularly. So I wanted to apply the base colors first and then let them air dry overnight. And then I continued with the second level the following day. So you will see some colors do actually blend together. Like for example, these colors that I'm blending right now, they're all from the blue family shades, but some of them, honestly y'all, will not blend together on a normal basis, especially this blue and purple. So I made sure to do two layers of color and I also did my palm blending technique to just really help soak each color in the hair. Just like layer one, I let the second layer dry overnight so that I could blend layer three without some of the colors becoming muddy and just not blending together at all. I went ahead and finished the wig off camera because this wig took me about three and a half days to do, but I will put the color combos that I created down below. Because I used about 18 different color combos, yes, I said 18, rinsing this out would become a disaster if all of my colors all mixed together. So to avoid any hair color bleeding and ruining my four days worth of coloring, I let it air dry for one and a half days before I rinsed it out. That way, when I rinse it out in the sink, you guys can see no bleeding whatsoever. This hair color is plastered on this wig. There's no hair color coming out of this wig at all and everything just turned out so beautiful. Beautiful. Girl, bad man, they feel the way you want to the ready man, the eh, eh. Move to the ready, make you groove, make you move to my play. Eh, eh. You are got a ready man, the vibe that I make a man pray. Eh, eh. Wine from the north to the south, you are sitting out of play. Eh, eh. Vibes on, vibes on, vibes. 
The wig is 80% dry and I just have to blow dry it, but look at the beautiful color blend. The colors that you wouldn't usually see blended together became just so appealing to my eyes and it just came out so beautiful. So as I said before, this hair is raw Indian blonde from Chambray and it is in their natural wave. And I love this blonde hair. I feel like ever since I started working with Chambray, last year their blonde hair has just taken my wig coloring videos just to the next level and I am obsessed I used four bundles of 20 inch and I also used an HD 5x5 closure and I just went to style the wig on camera so you guys can see it in 360 and see how beautiful the colors blend together I do have an updated bald cap tutorial so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out to slay your wigs using HD lace. This lace is super thin and super transparent and it blends to my skin so well and my hairline looks so seamless every single time I do this bald cap method. I use some lace tint to camouflage my hairline a bit more. I also use some of my favorite lace spray to melt my hairline down and I just cut my lace and just installed this flawless wig. I took the curls out off camera and let them fall to like a low curl on the ends. Then I'm gonna take my EAP heat one inch flat iron to curl the ends a little bit. I'm also gonna use some hairspray just to help me mold the hair to my face. And I'm just gonna create like a Michelle Obama loose curled in type of wig. Obviously, you know, this color is not Michelle Obama, but listen, can't help but the dream, you know? I wouldn't mind seeing Michelle Obama in one of my wigs like speaking into existence but that is pretty much the wig y'all the colors match my nails perfectly it is so spring it's so summer it's so bright and vibrant and it all just blends so well with my skin tone like perfectly I like you but don't get me started I know you want me my baby gently Loving it, she giving me steadily, moving it, moving it gently. I like how you giving me steadily. Wind up your body, girl, no matter, no matter. Now the moment a lot of you have been waiting for, I'm going to be hand painting on my wig, but I want to throw out a mini disclaimer. This is not something that's permanent in my opinion or something that can be done without either being on the actual person's head while the wig is on their head and you painting directly on it or a mannequin that's the same size head as yours. I've been painting on this wig about three times now I've washed it, painted on it, washed it, painted on it. And every time I do feel like I get closer and closer to perfecting my technique, learning what type of paint to use, mixing it with this, mixing it with that. But I still have some work to do. I purposely didn't show the paint because I just feel like I can find better than what I've been using. And I didn't wear the wig painted on camera because it just didn't lay right at all. Like, the spaces wasn't correct the way I painted on it wasn't correct until I practice a bit more I am choosing to not embarrass myself
myself on YouTube. But I definitely wanted to still show in the video how I did paint my designs on the wig. And I also wanted to give a mini shout out to the creator that painted Cardi B's red bandana wig. She was really the person, or should I say, she was the artist that gave me just my creative juices back. She just really inspired me to just get back to doing hair color and my creativity. Thank you, girl, because I really needed it. We are at the end of the video and I decided to put a nail vlog in this video so that you can see the inspo behind the wig color that I did and you can also see the process of me getting my nails done. Let me know down below if you guys want more hair and nail vlog videos together. This most definitely took a ton of time to film but I think the ending results just came out so bomb and it just made the whole video pop all together. So this is pretty much the end of the video, you guys. Chill out, vibe out, listen to some good music, and make sure you guys like this video. If you guys want more hair color content like this, and also subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Make you free your mind Man, they think about you all the time Lick up party, make you get that wine Bad girl, she a whiny for me Good girl, you are moving naughty Come have
lovely Kujin and Tani. It's time for a little party. You can have all your drinks upon me. You can have all your drinks on me. So the girls, they might want it on me. I'm moving calmly. Me not tell you, see me fire can't cool. Me not tell you, see me nothing can do.